Welcome to another day with Jesus. A daily devotional podcast to help you walk with Jesus, live for Jesus and represent Jesus. Now let us open our heart to receive as Pastor Preji shares from the heart of God. Good morning and greetings in Jesus precious name. Welcome to this amazing, beautiful and Jesus centered day that we have. You know when we begin our days we have to come to the presence of the Lord and ask him Lord give me a glimpse of your mercy of your grace of your love let me see you afresh today and help me Lord to lay down my life everything about me my talents my abilities my victories even my failures all of them at your feet you know when the bible prophets and the saints and the leaders and the kings in the old testament and the new testament when they experienced their journey with god they were intentional to bring it all to the lord you know they may not have been perfect they may not have been always right and always correct and yet they knew how to dedicate how to give it all to jesus even in their good bad ugly and even the glorious days let me tell you the example of king david you know how he sinned and he committed mistakes and he was honest enough to accept his mistakes and he was honest enough to build an altar whenever he sinned and he worshiped god and he broke his heart before god and he brought his uh, failures to god and yet i'd like to emphasize this that it was not only his failures that he brought before god we are experts in bringing our weaknesses and our struggles to god even in his best times let me read this scripture out for you second samuel chapter 8 and verse 11 king david dedicated all these gifts to the lord as he did with the other silver and gold from the other nations that he had defeated every time king david would defeat a nation or he would have a victory not only will he have plunder from the place that he has overcome even other kings and kingdoms around that place they would send their tribute and their gift of honor and their gift of respect to king david and they would tell him you are a great king and we admire you we adore you Now these were very personal gifts. They didn't have to be in the royal treasury or they didn't have to be used for God's purposes. And yet the Bible says that all these gifts that came to King David personally, he would dedicate it to the Lord. And this was his practice. It says this was his practice as he did to all the other silver and gold that he received from all the other nations that he had defeated isn't that such an amazing lifestyle such an amazing way of living your life and you would see how it is recorded that david he kept all these gold and silver and everything and he handed it down to his son solomon and he told him hey i know that the lord is going to use you to build a temple to honor his name i want you to use all these properties this gold this silver all of that i have accomplished and all my victories that i have received the blessings that i have received i want you to use it to build a temple for god now i hope that we will take each and every victory in our life with the same heart the same attitude and with the same intention can you imagine going to work and saying when i get a promotion I want to be able to dedicate it to God. When I get a blessing, I want to be able to dedicate it to God. When you have a child, can you imagine going to the hospital on the way to the hospital preparing to dedicate this child that is to be born to the Lord as soon as you get it into your hand? Can you imagine praying the same thing about your uh, college professional degrees and and the the skills that you have acquired all of those things even relationships if you are intentional to dedicate all your blessings and all your victories to the lord 
why wouldn't god be want to be on your side to help you fight your battles you know the reason we think that uh, giving it all to god is a waste the, is that we think that when when will i get to enjoy this when will i get to use all of this when will i be able to buy a a property with my own gold and with my own silver but the beauty of it is that the more david gave to god the more god blessed david the more david got richer the more he kept growing and going from victory to victory to victory to victory we think that if we give it all to god we will have to live a very poor lifestyle and it's not logically spiritually rationally possible that you give all your abilities your resources your time your influence to god and you're left with nothing when you give god one day one day in your life the bible says better is one day in his couch than a thousand days anywhere else so what you get in return for giving one day to god is a thousand days of productivity what you can accomplish in thousand days is what you're able to accomplish in that one day that you give to god you may think that i just have one rupee but that one rupee that you give to god can accomplish what you would have to pay a thousand rupees in a supermarket or in a store or in an expense that you need to have outside that one rupee is capable of accomplishing what a thousand other rupees would be required that is the power of you dedicating what you have to the lord you know king david made it his lifestyle whenever he would receive something from anybody first and foremost he would bring it all to god and say god this is all yours how can i use this to magnify you to elevate you to glorify your name and not mine may that be said about you and me may that be said about our homes our churches our ministries our lifestyles when our story is written in the book of heaven may there be a line that says priji he dedicated all these gifts to the lord as was his lifestyle with every victory every ministry every breakthrough that he has ever ever had god bless you and i hope that this word encouraged and propelled you to believe god for the same even in your own life we hope you are encouraged by today's podcast to know more about pastor preji or other resources you can avail or to receive help in any specific area connect with us at pastorpreji.com And don't forget to register for Revival Dreamers 2021 at dreamingrevival.com/2021. Hurry. Limited seats available. Register now. We wish you a Christ-filled day ahead.